My name is Joel, and I wrote a book called 10 Essays on Fizz Buzz. To accompany the book, I'm making 10 videos on Fizz Buzz. Episode 6 A Big Number. Fizz Buzz is the following problem Print the numbers 1 to 100, except if the number is divisible by 3. Instead, print fizz. If the number is divisible by 5, instead print buzz. And if the number is divisible by 15, instead print fizz buzz. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, how could someone get 10 essays worth of material out of this one simple problem? Well, stay tuned. Thanks for applying. I see on your resume it says you like big data. Oops, I meant to take that off, actually. Well, here's a big data problem for you. Fizz buzz. Well, I don't know if I can solve it with big data, uh, but I could solve it with a big number, I think. So let's think about how to do that. Um, I want a big number, and I'll use hexadecimal. And then what should that big number be? Well, we'll start off with 134. Uh, 591. Okay. And now when it's divisible by 3, we want fizz. So let's make that C9A2C8. Okay. And then when it's divisible by 5, I need buzz. So let's do E4D and then 164. Um, and then just to be safe, let's also do 7268B2. And then I also need the 15 case to be fizz buzz. Um, so let's do 393459, and then also 1C9A2C, okay? And then finally, just to make sure that we get the, the as-is case, where we print the number out as-is case, let us stick on the end 8E4, and then also D16, okay? So I think that should be good, and that can be a good big number, okay? And so now what I need to do is I need to... Um, chunk up that big number. So I'm going to start by importing RE, which is the regular expressions. Uh, and then I'm going to define uh, a regex, which I'll call RDX. And that's just going to be um, either zero, okay, or 10, okay, or uh, let's see, 110 or 111. So that'll be my regex, okay. And then what I want to do is I want to say that my chunks are going to be RE.FindAll. So I'm going to find all Everything that matches my regex, okay? Um, and uh, I am going to format my big number as a binary string, okay? But I also want to uh, force it to have a certain number of digits. So I'm gonna say this uh, 167B, um, and that's how I'm gonna format it, and then I'm gonna get some chunks, okay? And now I'm gonna wanna turn those chunks into labels. So um, here's what I will do. Um, I'm going to say, uh, in order to label a chunk, which is going to be a string, and some number, which is going to be an ant, and return a string, uh, I'm just going to say that my labels are going to be, okay, and what should they be? So we'll, one of them will be string of n, okay? And then, um, let's put fuzz in, because I think that'll make an interesting twist, and then fizz, um, and then boz, and then let's see, um, faz and foos, okay? And then finally buzz and fizz buzz. Okay, so I think that will be enough labels, okay? And I just want to um, return labels. Uh, let's see, what should I do? Um, let's convert chunk into an int using, um, binary. Okay. That's so now I have a label. So now what I want to do is I just want to say for I chunk in enumerate chunks. Um, I want to print a label of chunk 
and i plus 1. Now, why do I do i plus 1? I do i plus 1 because uh, when I do enumerate, I get 0, 1, 2, but I want 1, I want one up to 100. And so uh, let's take a look again at this big number. It doesn't like that I imported already in the wrong place, so let's make it uh, let's make it happy and put it further up. And um, why does it not like this? Um, I don't know why it doesn't like it. Anyway, that's fine. So uh, I think this looks good. So let us run it and see what happens. Okay, so um, if I look at this, um, you know, 75 is fizz buzz, so that's pretty good. 78 is fizz, buzz, fizz, this all looks reasonable. 90 is fizz, buzz, okay, I think I agree with that. 93 is fizz, uh, 95 buzz, fizz, and then finally fizz and buzz. So it looks like it's doing um, the things it's supposed to do. Uh, so, you know, it's not big data, but it is a big number, which is about as close, I think, as I can come. Um, so, you know, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Uh, can I take back the big data joke? And don't forget to check out the book at fizzbuzzbook.com.